Do you ever feel like you don't belong, that you don't fit in? Like you're a fish out of water. Or maybe you've got those some days where you just wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and, and, and think to yourself, I really am an ugly duckling. Well, we're going to be circling the question of where do you get your identity in this uh, video tonight? You know, think about the story of the ugly duckling. Hopefully you all remember that. I forgot my copy of the book. I didn't bring that with me. Honestly, it's because I don't own a copy of the book and I was too lazy to go out and get one. But try to remember that story. Mama duck hatches some eggs and that last one that hatches, you know, they're all cute little duckling, but that last one that hatches, he's kind of ugly. He's bigger than the others. He's a bit gangly. You know, his, his bill is too long. His feathers aren't the right color. All the other ducklings and all the other ducks, what do they do with this ugly duckling? They make fun of him. They make him feel like he doesn't fit in and that he shouldn't be there. So he ends up running away from home. And he thinks to himself, hey, I'll try hanging out at this other pond with some other ducks. Maybe I'll fit in there. But it's the same story again. He's, he's not the right color of feathers. He's too big. He's too ugly. His beak is the wrong shape. So he moves on. He thinks, well, there's some geese over there. Maybe I can fit in with the geese. Maybe they will accept me. But still, the same thing. He doesn't fit in. He doesn't quite match that group. He doesn't fit with the geese. So he moves on. It isn't until he grows up a little bit and he finds this group of swans and he's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe this group will take me in. And there he realizes that he belongs, that he fits in. And Why? It's because he's not a duck. He's a swan. The ugly duckling had the wrong identity. He was trying to define himself as a duck the entire time, and he was trying to live as a duck, but he didn't quite fit in. Identity is important because how you define yourself determines what you do and how you live. If I define myself as an outdoor, outdoors guy, then my life is going to revolve around those hunting and fishing seasons. If I identify myself as a Packers fan, as a, a Trekkie, a gamer, all these other things, things that aren't bad, but if I identify myself with that, they can only do so much for my life. They're very limited in the way that they can help me live my life and what I do. See, what happens when life changes and I don't have the time anymore to hunt or fish that I, I used to, that identity as an outdoors guy can't carry me very far and I'm struggling. You know, what happens when, you know, I'm, I'm all about the Packers and their season, you know, maybe this year they're going to have some games canceled. They're not going to have fans in the stands for some of the games. Or, you know, I'm going to be too busy with other parts of life and I can't watch these games. Then that identity as a Packer fan is only going to take me so far and it's not going to be able to help me through a difficult time in my life. Star Trek will release lame movies and I just have to deal with that as a Trekkie. You know, I don't have the time to bust out my Xbox anymore like I used to. Where is my identity? What, who am I? How can I survive in this world with an identity that is so limited? See, the problem comes in when our definition for ourselves doesn't match who we really are. The ugly duckling just couldn't fit in with the other ducks, no matter how hard he tried. Again, because he wasn't a duck. He was really a swan the entire time. We all hit those times in our lives where we're trying to fit in with all the different types of people and try to make it fit, but we don't quite to seem to fit. Or worse, when we don't fit and everyone else lets us know that we really don't fit in. You know, we struggle with that desire to belong. We struggle with that need to belong, that, that identity, that who we are. And if nothing else, 2020 has proven to be a year to mess with our identities. Sports seasons have been canceled. Plays, musicals, concerts, all canceled or postponed. 
School itself, whether you're in person or you're, you're virtually doing school, is drastically different than it was just a year ago. So how you define yourself determines what you do and how you live. We need to go back to our Creator to our find our identity because it's only in God that we can know our identity and who we are truly are. You know, when I'm working on my car trying to keep that thing running, when I'm having trouble with that, there's a lot of places I can turn to, a lot of different people that I could ask for advice on how to fix my car. I can check the internet, YouTube, talk to different people. But if I really want to find out what's wrong with my car and how to get it running the way I'm supposed to, I go back to the one that made the car, to the manufacturer of that car, because ultimately they know the best on how, to, how that car should operate. They have the most knowledge on how that car should be running. As humans, we need to go back to our Creator. Whether you're a follower of Jesus or not, God is the Creator of everyone and everything. And that's something we firmly believe here at the Mission Church. We need to find out what He intended for our lives in order for us to live or how we should even live. So let me give you a sample of what God says about who you are and who you can become. You are a child of God. John 1.12 You are a friend of Christ. John 15.15 15. You are God's workmanship, His handiwork, born anew in Christ to do His work. Ephesians 2.10 You are citizens of heaven. Seated in heaven right now, Philippians 3.20. You are chosen of God, holy and dearly loved, Colossians 3.12, 1 Thessalonians 1.4. You are a member of a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's possession, 1 Peter 2.9 and 10. If you're a Christian, Every one of these characteristics is completely true of you. And you can make these characteristics more productive and more meaningful in your lives by simply choosing to define yourself by what God has said about you. And the more you reaffirm your identity in Christ, the more you identify yourself with what God has telling you, the more your behavior the more of what you do and how you live will reflect your true identity. You'll see these things that I just listed playing out in your life. If you're not a Christian and you find yourself struggling to find your true identity, I urge you to turn to your Creator. Only you is keeping you from God, from knowing Him personally from accepting forgiveness for your sin and having every one of those things that I listed and more be true about you. Reach out to me using the link here below that I'll have on this page with this video. Talk to your small group leader. Talk to some of your other friends in your small group. Find out more about what it means to have your identity in Jesus. Identity is important. Because how you define yourself determines what you do and how you live. Your next move is to define yourself according to God's definition of you and to allow God to determine what you do and how you live. See you this Wednesday for small group. I can't wait to see you all again in person. Have a great night.